Gia works as scientific policy advisor to the Prime Minister of her country. Over the last two years, her country has suffered and economy is in dire state. Consequences of poor management of natural resources are starting to become evident, most recently through a drought leading to failed harvests. Gia has been asked to work out a recovery program to get the country back on a more solid developmental path. Yet Gia is cautious. She knows how difficult it is to reconcile economic needs, while at the same time protecting the country's natural resources. With more wood, we could expand our industry and create more jobs. We want more rice to our lands and keep forests and ecosystems intact. Competition is fierce for land, resources and attention. But are there win-wins for the different sectors? We need to find ways to address protection and more productive use of natural resources at the same time. Forests can actually benefit agriculture. In agroforestry systems, we actually see increase in earnings and food security compared to monocropping systems. We also see clear benefits for the climate and biodiversity. Globally, 1.5 billion hectares of degraded land would benefit from restoration. And we could boost agricultural productivity on another 1 billion hectares through increased tree cover. But it will take time. Forests and trees can provide a significant amount of renewable and carbon neutral materials. In construction, wood can help reduce emissions and bind carbon or become an alternative energy source. Gia looks at her notes. Protect. Halting deforestation to help stop climate change and biodiversity loss. Restore. Making land more productive. Sustainably use. Building higher value added value chains that create jobs and build carbon-neutral local economies. Gia now starts to recognize a huge untapped potential of forests. But these changes are costly, risky and take time. I cannot lose the income. I would like to invest in forests. As investors, we are struggling to find bankable projects with a foreseeable return. Gia will have to get other ministries on board to support economic and environmental recovery. Gia reaches for the phone. She needs to get incentives right. Empower and incentivize local actors to scale up green recovery to see tangible benefits. Reorientate financial flows and incentivize investment in conservation, restoration and sustainable use. Discussions will not be easy but a start is made.